This is a major update to Shad CN, 25 components to help you build all kinds of sidebars. This is honestly so welcome. I hate building sidebars, nav bars, all of them. They're honestly such a pain. And I mean, Shad CN has been on fire lately, just constant components after components. I don't know how he does it, but in this video, we're just gonna take a quick dive into this. It's really cool because on Twitter, he actually breaks it down. So step-by-step, step, you obviously have the sidebar component and then inside you have the sidebar header, the sidebar content, and the sidebar sidebar footer. I don't know why that's so hard to say. It has different variants. It also has different collapsible modes. You can put it on the left or right. You can group things and add menus. You can have actions, buttons, and it looks like you can also have collapsible groups. So you just fold and open things, but there's also sub menus. This is all just code. So it's kind of hard to just visualize it. So it's easier if we just go to the website. So yeah, on the website, obviously it's gonna be under components. So if I go down here, yep, sidebar. Yeah, and this is way easier since we now can just look at it, but this is the foldable. You also have, oh, different sub menus. So all these fold. I honestly love the way this looks and obviously you can fold the whole thing, which is really nice. Super easy to install, just like any other Shad CN components. You can obviously theme this. And yeah, for the structure, that's what we just went over. So it's really nice to see how simple this is and, and an actual visualization of it. But yeah, honestly, usage wise, it looks pretty simple. And I assume V0 can just generate this now, I hope. We can actually try it. So let's do generate a dashboard page for me with a sidebar. Oh, and I obviously have to log in. So generate a dashboard page for me with a sidebar. We'll see if that actually works. But in the meantime, it looks pretty straightforward to implement. And then if we go to blocks, I think there's also gonna be some examples here. I don't know why it just scrolled me all the way down, but uh, going all the way back up. So you have your different sections. That's pretty nice. And you, and you can obviously also add a uh, search bar. So rendering. I wonder if this works. So this might actually require some coding on our end to implement, but oh, and it also has the plus and minus. I love that. That's super simple, but it looks so good. Oh, and you have the little notice at the bottom. That's pretty nice. I probably sound like the biggest shell for Shad CNUI, but honestly, this has made my life so much easier. So I don't care about it. They don't, Vercel or anyone doesn't sponsor this video, but I'm still gonna push this. It's just honestly so good. Oh, and there's also an inbox example. I feel like this works so well. And this is kind of giving Notion a little bit. Let's see what V0 generated. So I think, I wonder if this is using the new component. So if I go to dashboard, yeah, I don't think V0 is yet trained to use the new sidebar component. So we might have to wait a little bit longer for that. And that's fine. Honestly, I think we can just generate a page here and see how easily we can swap in a sidebar that V0 generates with the new component. So yeah, I think I'll just do that. So I just created a blank Next.js project that I installed Chad CN. And the next thing for me is just to install the sidebar. So I'll pull that in using NPM. So just install that. I'll probably need a lot more components than that, but for now that should be fine and actually looking at it it imported a bunch of components so we have button separator sheet tooltip input skeleton use mobile oh and that's a hook but yeah we have a lot of different components actually so we don't need to import probably any of them and so like i mentioned we want to start off with just some random page that v0 generates for us and then we just insert the sidebar or replace the sidebar with the sidebar that's generated so generate a simple dashboard with a sidebar it should have a couple simple charts showing random statistics. This sidebar should have the user at the top and a settings button at the bottom. Also have different page buttons on the sidebar. I'm not the best at prompting, but hopefully this does it. So let's see what it comes up with. Looks like we have some random bar chart, some random line chart, just like we told it. And yep, it added a sidebar. It looks like we have some user info at the top and some navigation in the middle with some random buttons. Yeah, the charts are not that great. It looks like it's kind of going into the next page. Um, maybe we can tell it to place the charts on top of each other and make the middle section scrollable. Let's see how it does with that just to kind of like rearrange things. But, and I'll also have to install Lucid for my project. And yep, it added the charts. This is also honestly because of the way I have my browser. If we, it looks like I can't expand that. Can we full screen it? Yep. So that looks a lot better. I think it's just the size of my screen that's the issue. And yeah, like any great developer, I'll just click copy here and close my terminal, go to my page and simply just control A, control V. And that's it. I think it's ready for production and just rename this to home. We have to install a few things. So we want to install avatar. Oh, we also want to install chart actually. So 
Let me just do that. So chart, I'll also install card and then NPM I Lucid React. Oh, I think it already installed it. I also need to install avatar. So let me do that. There's the avatar and we already have the sidebar installed. So I think we can just get started. Let's take a quick look at what our page looks like. This actually looks pretty nice. Honestly, we can just ship this. I'm pretty happy with this. Um, pages are pretty nice. There's a settings button at the bottom, but that's not what we came here for. So let's get the sidebar in. I'm going to actually just comment out this whole section and just use it as reference, but that's the main content. There's the header. So this whole thing is the sidebar. So yeah, there we go. The sidebar is now commented out. So if I go to the dashboard, the sidebar is gone. So looking at this diagram, it looks like for what we want, we basically want the sidebar footer to be that settings button. And for the sidebar content, we just have our pages. And for the header, I forget what we had, but I think it was just the basic user information. Looks like we will need the sidebar provider though. So let's just put that in our layout. We'll just go down here. And for the children, I'll just do sidebar provider, wrap that in the provider. And hopefully that does the trick. And now we can just have our different sections. So I'll just copy this. Go back to our page and for the sidebar, I'll paste that in there and just import all of them. So we have sidebar, sidebar header. If I go back to it, I wonder what it's gonna look like. If I look at this, it looks like we already have the sidebar here. We might need to adjust the way the content is taking up space on the page, but so far so good. I think we can actually just take this button for the settings and throw it in the footer already. So if I put the button there, let's see what that looks like. So yeah, that looks pretty good. We already have the settings button. Oh, it looks like I missed out on some of these things. So we need a sidebar trigger in our main app and then the sidebar nav. Um, I think for us, the trigger is just going to be in the main content in the header. So if I put that here, I think that should collapse my sidebar. So yeah, it looks like the icon is here and it's collapsible. That's perfect. Technically, I think our sidebar should be in the layout. So I think I'll just pull this out into maybe we'll call this app sidebar. Forgot to give it an extension dot TSX. We'll just import what we had before. And in here, I think we can remove a lot of the imports. So we no longer need a lot of these. I think that should be good for now. So I'll actually throw the nav bar in my layout. So this will be, so I'll put that in the main and then for the sidebar, I'll call this app sidebar. And then for the page, yeah, that should be just wrapped in main. If we take a look at it, everything just looks the same, but for the menu, it looks like he's just creating a menu items list. So I'll just copy that and we'll throw that in here. So in the old page, we had a home. We also had analytics and this had the component pie chart. We also had users and this used the users icon. And yeah, I think that was it. So we can just delete the other ones. So no settings and no search. Now for the actual content, we can just copy this. Oh, it looks like I created the list in the wrong place, but we can just put it back here. And then for the content, I'll just replace all of that. Bring in my sidebar items. So we'll put that at the top here. We also need to bring these icons in here. So we import those. And this is starting to look so good already and it was so easy to do. So I'm pretty happy with this so far. The other thing that I noticed is that there's actually a keyboard shortcut for this. So if we take a look at the component that we imported from Shatsy and there's actually a sidebar keyboard shortcut here and that just defaults to B. So if we go back to our page, the way it works and I'm on Mac, if you do command B with that key, it actually just toggles it for you. So this is so nice to know. The last thing I want to do is actually add that header section. So we have the user and I'll just open this in V0. And maybe this is the only way to get the sidebar into V0 at the moment. But if we just go to the sidebar, um, I want to look at how this handles that header section. So right away, I'm noticing that this kind of does things in a different way. It basically just has one big data object here that has all of that information for the user for the nav. And I wonder why this is different than the example that I looked at. But this is the section that we're actually interested in. So we have the side the sidebar header. And if I was to just copy this and put it in our application, we'll just replace the sidebar header. And this is what I love about Shatsy. And I can just take a random chunk of code from a different Shatsy and component and just slap it in here. And I just all magically works somehow. But if I just import that and I go back to my page, it's right there. It basically all just worked. So that wasn't much effort. The last thing I want to do is basically just replace it with what we had before for the user. So to do that, I'll just look at our page. And what we had here was basically just an avatar and the 
header and a paragraph. So I'll just copy that. I'll keep the sidebar menu item and the side and the sidebar menu button and also the link, but I'll just replace all of this. So so the styling looks all sort of messed up. I think that's because the button itself has a restricted size. If you look at the sidebar menu button, it has a size of large. For our example, I'll just remove the email. So if I remove that, it's not the greatest, but honestly does the job. I probably should have just kept the old code, but it is what it is. We can delete that old sidebar code. So now this is all cleaned up. There's also some things in here that we don't need, but yeah, it's not the best looking sidebar, obviously, and it has no functionality. I just wanted to play around with this component. As kind of a last thing, I wanna see if cursor can fix the gap here and kind of just see how it does. So I'll just select my code here. I'm also gonna add for context the layout page just so it knows about the structure of this component. And for my actual prompt, I'll just basically tell it to center that. So, or not center it, actually just take up the entire space. So I'll just tell it to basically the content of the page next to the sidebar is not taking up the remaining. That is not how you spell remaining space on the page, fix it. So it's basically saying we just need to fix some CSS classes that we apply to the main content area. And I'm too lazy to do a diff of what's changed in my head. So I'll just apply this. For some reason, it just pulled out the sidebar trigger into its own kind of wrapper. So it looks like it didn't fully understand what I wanted. And the way I'm gonna try getting around that is by adding this comment here of what the whole page content is, and then basically just reprompting it. So it basically went on and modified the layout. So maybe it thinks the problem is there and it could be. So let's take a look at the layout. We'll apply that. It looks like it's wrapping the content of the actual page. So that includes the sidebar and whatever we have for the main content. I'll see if that works. I don't like this code, but that still doesn't work. Honestly, it's pretty late here. I don't wanna spend more time on this. Maybe I'll leave the code in a repo down below if you guys wanna spend some time on fixing it. But yeah, 